Hi everyone, this is a walkthrough for question two on the example discussion for LLRBs and hashing. Okay, so this problem is taken directly from the worksheet, but it may look a bit different because it's on the slides instead of on the worksheet, but it's the exact same. So for this problem, we're working with this LLRB on the right. And the question is what integer X when inserted in this LLRB requires six fix ups, okay? So, the first thing that we should notice is that six is a lot of fix-ups, right? Usually any operation will only take like maybe one or two fix-ups. So we wanna to try to figure out what number when inserted will take us the most work to make the tree correct again, okay? So let's kind of think about how we can maximize the number of fix-ups we need, okay? So if we were to look at the corresponding two, three tree, we see that the top root contains two and eight, and then we have zero, four, six, and then 10. Okay, so if we want to maximize the amount of effort or work that we do in this two, three tree upon an insertion, it would make the most sense to overstuff this four, six node because if we overstuff this four, six node, either by adding a three, five, or seven, what will happen is it'll send the median element to this root node, which will then get overstuffed. And what will happen is we will need to split the root node as well. So you guys can kind of see if we insert a three, five, or seven, we'll do a lot of work because we need to split the four, six node and the two, eight node, okay? So we've kind of narrowed it down to three, five, or seven will cost a lot of work. And we know that six fix-ups is a lot. So let's just try doing one of three, five, or seven. Okay, so let's try to choose the one that will do the most work first, okay? So if we insert, let's say, let's say we insert, I don't know, a three, okay? What will happen is three will be the left child of four, okay? How much work will we need here? Okay, so we will need to rotate six to the right. Then we will need to do a color flip on four. And then we'll need three more operations after that. If this isn't immediately visible, don't worry, I'll walk through an example later and it'll make sense. Okay, but the gist is after inserting three, you realize that this is only five fix ups. Okay, so somehow we need to get one more fix up. And to do that, what we can do is insert the number five, okay? So let's quickly look at the solution. Okay. So after inserting five, this will actually take six fix-ups. And I'm gonna quickly walk through an example of the six fix-ups that are needed and the ordering, okay? So after inserting five, what you guys should realize is that this four, six node now got a new element five. Right? I think it's really helpful to remember that this is just a two, three tree, right? An LLRB is just like an isomorphism, has an isomorphism with a two tree tree. Okay? So we see here that in the corresponding two, three tree, this four, six, five node is overstuffed, right? So to deal with an overstuffed node, what we do is we take the median element and we push it to the layer above. Okay? The problem is that. In order to do this pushing of the median element, we need to have a color flip, okay? And a color flip can only happen in a set configuration of the tree, okay? Let me quickly go back in my slides. Uh, give me a sec. Okay, so we can only do a color flip when our tree has this exact configuration, okay? Because that's how a color flip works. Okay, so let's quickly get rid of this annotation. So going back to our example, give me a sec. Yeah, going back to our example, we see here that eventually we want to do a color flip on this node, but it's not in the correct configuration to do a color flip quite yet. To address this, what we're going to do is we're going to first rotate four to the left. Okay. So if we rotate four to the left, now this line configuration should look a little more similar. And what we can do is rotate six to the right. 
So after these two rotations, you'll see that now our subtree is possible to color flip. Okay. Sorry, I got a bit ahead of myself. Okay, so we'll see here now that we can do a color flip, we will color flip on five, right? Recall that all this is doing in the corresponding two, three tree is pushing five to the root node. Okay. Now we see that our root node contains three elements and it's overstuffed. So to solve this problem, we need to color flip on the root node. But it's not in a correct configuration to color flip. So what we need to do is this V, right, looks ex very, very similar to this V that we were dealing with before, right? So we can apply the same logic. What we'll do is rotate two to the left. Then we will rotate eight to the right. Now we have five, right? The five nodes at the top, and it's in a correct configuration to color flip. So what we'll do is color flip five, which since it's the only root node, right? What that does is just basically push five to be its own root node in the corresponding two through tree. And in the LLRB, we just make the edges outgoing five black, okay? So we see here that these are the steps for inserting five. These slides are also available. I can quickly type that in. If you guys go to tinyurl.com slash LLRB slash slides, okay? So that is all for this video walkthrough. I hope you guys found it helpful.